hello friends welcome to the video lecture series on a data analysis with the help of python so in this tutorial we are going to see about what is the series data structure inside the pandas library so what is the series data series data is a one kind of one dimensional data which changes with respect to different instance of time you can consider the stock price data or a weather data so in case of stock price every day or you can consider every day as a one instance of uh, time and every day the stock price uh, change so you can consider as a one dimensional data in case of weather also for particular city or particular uh, area wise the weather change condition change across the time that you can consider as a series kind of data structure so in this tutorial we are going to see about how you can take those uh, series data inside the pipe python's panda library and then you can perform many operation on the top of it so uh, let's make some necessary imports for series data so we'll import pandas as pd okay so we have successfully imported this pandas now let's create first a uh, very simple uh, series structure so what we what we can do on the top of pd we can supply simple one dimensional array to the series function of this pandas so let's say 2 comma minus 3 1 comma 7 and we'll assign it to some object reference obj okay so it has created obj reference for us let's just print it obj okay so uh, we haven't provided any kind of indexing so it has created the series data structure for us with a value 2 minus 3 1 and 7 each of these values are integer 64 bit way representation and you can access individual value with the index 0 1 2 3 but we haven't provided the custom index later we'll see how we can provide even a custom index so uh, suppose we want to see uh, just the values how we can see the values of okay so it has written us all the values associated with particular series so 2 minus 3 1 and 7 so this is a very simple way you can create the series now let's create the series with providing some index value associated with that so what we'll do we'll pro we'll use the same function series we'll assign it to reference obj1 but externally we will supply the index something like uh, d one array of indexing also a c b okay so uh, you can supply data as a array of object and you can supply explicitly the index as an array of object so here we have given index d a c b so d is associated with the first value 2 a is associated with minus 3 3 uh, c is indexing c has a value 1 and index b has a 7 now let's see how it looks like let's just print it o obj1 object okay so d is uh, to a minus 3 c is equal to 1 and b is equal to 7 now suppose we want to access the individual uh, element based on the indexing value so uh, let's say obj1 okay i should have written it here actually because I have already given a title uh, let's access this value based on a index or based on a condition so I'll use this cell here obj1 let's say we want to find a value whose index is C okay so you can internally supply this C as an index value and it will return us 1 so that is the value associated with that you can even supply the condition inside that also so suppose uh, we want all the positive values only so you can supply 
condition like obj 1 greater than 0 so give me all values of object 1 whose value is greater than 0 only so this way it will evaluate this condition and it will return only those element which satisfy this condition so in our case one only element only is negative remaining are all positive so it should return all those three value with even indexing is preserved so d is associated with 2 e is has been removed because it's the negative value c is equal to 1 and b is equal to 7 okay now suppose uh, we want to do any kind of mathematical operation on the top of it so bj1 let's say each and every component or each and every value of this data structure we want to multiply by 2 so we can just write uh, star by 2 multiply by 2 so each and every element has been multiplied by 2 so that way you can perform any kind of mathematical operation suppose we want to uh, generate the square of each and every so double star and 2 so it will generate the square of individual element of whole uh, series data structure so this is how you can create a very simple uh, series data structure how you can access the individual element based on some condition or based on some index value how you can perform some mathematical operation on the top of it but uh, majority time we have uh, see this data are available inside the file or even a built-in data structure of a uh, python so either you can read it and you can externally supply uh, and you can create the array and then array you can supply to series data structure or suppose you have a uh, data available inside the python dictionary uh, data structure suppose you have a data available in a python dictionary data structure then how you can convert into series data structure and you can uh, generate or you can manipulate all kind of possible operation on the top of this series data structure so let's create a very simple uh, data reference uh, which is having a dictionary objects so something like uh, okay uh, let's take a very hypothetical data like uh, London every city is associated with some number there is no meaning of any number in this case London is equal to 10 Tokyo like uh, 72 New York I have taken all 100 and let's say Mumbai is only 50 so this is a series data structure so if you display this thing London 10 Mumbai is equal to 15 so this way now suppose we want to uh, import those data inside the series data structure the same way what we the way we have created the simple series data structure you can externally supply this dictionary object directly to the series data structure now let's see how we can do it series and as an argument you can directly supply this data data is nothing but the series uh, dictionary object so it will return us some series data structure which we have assigned to obj2 reference now let's print obj2 okay so it has created london new uh, mumbai new york and tokyo as a indexing value indexing and 10 1572 as a value the way we have supplied inside the dictionary object so that way you can create the series data structure and uh, all kind of operation which is possible on the series data structure you can perform on it so thank you guys for the watching that's it for this lecture friend uh, i hope you enjoy listening this video please do like comment and subscribe it